Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. So much for joining me. I'm filming this on Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know when this is going to be published on YouTube, but I'm sure it'll be this week sometime. Anyways, I, um, I want to wish both teams the best of luck. I have friends that are, I'm sure, rooting for Kansas City, and uh, and I have, I have family and friends that are rooting for Tampa Bay. And then I have probably all of New England that's rooting for Tampa Bay because of Tom Brady, or at least a good part of New England. Even though Tom Brady is no longer a patriot, I know we're all going to be rooting for them. So happy Super Bowl Sunday. In this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I have received and that I have bought and then give you an update on a couple of things that I've been doing. So stay tuned. So first of all, this is my birthday week and what better way in my opinion to celebrate someone's birthday but buying jewelry or buying all sorts of little gadgets and stuff like that so i've had a very gadget filled week i um, bought myself an early birthday present i ended up buying myself a new apple watch i have been wanting the apple watch 6 i have it on you guys probably see that i have an apple watch on all the time with different bands that, I that i've bought off of amazon and i went for the 40 millimeter I had the 38 before and so the choices in the Apple watch face was the 40 or the 42 I believe so I went with the 40 which is just a tad bit bigger than my old Apple watch however the screen size is what is most impressive compared to my other Apple watch so over the course of time because I, I wear it all the time I've always gone on to Amazon and I've bought different different bands that you can put these little bands this one is really pretty now none of these bands are super expensive so I've had some that I've had to throw out because they wore out but the, the really cool thing is that the bands that I bought that are for my old Apple watch will fit my new Apple watch so I but I did buy two new bands they just haven't arrived yet but I don't have to buy a ton of bands so this is my little pretty pink one I bought this off of Amazon and then I have this sort of silver claspy chain kind of one one that you see me wear a lot is this one with the little diamond things in it really pretty and then this one is probably the second most popular one for me that I wear and this has held up amazingly and I think this was like maybe when I bought it I think it was like $12.99 and it's little pearls with the little little silver accents and you just slide it into your Apple Watch and I wear this super a lot. And then just other chains. So I got my new Apple Watch. I got the exact same color theme as before, which is probably the most reasonable one. It's the aluminum, I can never say that word, aluminum. I think I said that right. Anyways, and then I just basically bought uh, or selected the most inexpensive band which is this this plastic black rubber band that comes with it because I wasn't too sure if my old bands were going to fit I thought they would but it wasn't positive so really super happy that they do fit and so I got that so I, that was like a big bling for me my Apple watch so this is the six so it's going to have all the health monitoring devices and everything goes along with it and I've been trying to really get back into my fitness routine COVID and you know all sorts of different family issues last year just totally derailed me and so far January and into the beginning of February has been really a horrible month as well so um, anyways I'm hoping that I've reset all my fitness goals on my watch so I'm, I'm kind of hoping not that I need a crutch but I'm just kind of hoping that this kind of spurs me on a little bit I hope so I got this I also got the I got new earbuds um, Apple earpods I think they're called and I got the earpod pro which can have that noise um, it can it get rid of the background noise the the way I'm not I don't have it in here to show you but the way it sits in my ear the pro sits in my ear so much more secure than the regular ones that I've had so I got those the ones that I had um, they were the original version and I have nursed them. I mean the battery life probably lasts like 45 minutes and I am a huge huge avid podcast person so I'm always listening to podcasts so uh, thrilled that these earbuds are as 
good as they are and I really love them so far. The other thing I really wanted to mention to you, I've talked about Julia before and, and I know there's a number of other people that talk about Julia as well. Well, Julia sent me two rings quite a while ago, well over a year. I have cleaned this. I have, I try, I mean, obviously I'm not going to be wearing these if I'm washing the dishes. I'm not going to be wearing these cleaning the toilet, so to speak. This one looks just like my wedding band. I'm going to try to zoom in, hold my hand steady. Um, looks just like my wedding band. So when I wear this, nobody even knows that I have another ring on. And so what I do, especially if I'm not going to be around, is I just put my real stuff in a safety deposit box and keep it there so I never have to worry about it. But they also sent me this Daisy Diamond. Obviously, this is reality. I love their presentation. I love when you, you buy something from Julia. They, they come so securely packaged in this beautiful little box. Well, this daisy ring is, I think this looks as good or even better than new, to be honest with you. I have worn this daisy ring so often, and every time I wear it, I get compliments because the little tiny yellow daisies, you have to look really close to see them. But they, they just make me smile because I look at them, and especially now in the wintertime where right, it's snowing outside, right? So I look at this and I'm, I think spring, I think summer, I think happy thoughts, I think light thoughts. I just really like wearing this piece. So anyways, long story short, I have worn these, I've reviewed these, I've cleaned these, I've talked about these. And Julia reached out to me not too long ago and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing another piece. And if I was, would I be interested in becoming an affiliate member? And you know, I've said, yeah, I would be and I would be because I, I don't believe in just becoming an affiliate member just to hawk a product or whatever. Um, to me, it has to be something I believe in. Like, I am an affiliate member of Reliable Rx. I have been using that pharmacy overseas for I don't even know how long now. I stand behind that. I think their products are awesome. They're affordable. They, their customer service is awesome. Built Bar is the same thing. You know, I'm an affiliate member of Built Bars. I love Built Bars. They are delicious, especially the new ones are amazing. I love them. So there are a number of companies that give me a, a sort of discount codes without necessarily being an affiliate. When you're an affiliate, that means if someone follows your link and buys from your link, you get a few pennies. And it's the same thing with when you look and you see magic links and stuff like that. If you bought something off of a magic link, I might I might make a penny. And it doesn't cost you any more, which is the cool thing. So anyways, um, long story short, I, I do have affiliate codes for a lot of products that I believe in. And and then to become an affiliate of a product, I really have to, I really, because to me it's my, my reputation, so to speak, on the line. So I, when Julia reached out to me, I said yes, love their jewelry. I think their jewelry is so, so pretty. I'm gonna put a couple of screenshots in this so you can see some of the different designs they have. I think they're affordable. I think they're beautiful. They hold up so well. I love it, and I love their presentation. All of their products come in a box. Inside is the box that the jewelry piece comes in, then there's a gift bag if you want to gift anything. And then there's this little catalog that shows all the cute products they have. Well, this particular one that I have that I'm going to show you is very different. I don't know that I would have picked out anything like this for me, to be honest with you. It's very, very different. And this is actually called, and it's part of the Hug Me Collection. I'm going to show you photo and it is just so pretty it is really so pretty it's a different I know it doesn't you probably can't even see a cute simple ring this is really crafted really nicely it is part of a collection and this is a loving couple on one side looking at each other and I really like it so it's a great February 14th Valentine's Day gift you can see the the couple embracing so hug me ring I think all in time for Valentine's Day Julia always has amazing sales I am of course going to link my information below and I do have a discount code I think you can get 15% off if you do use my code but I just I just think their products are really nice I really like it and and who doesn't like a little bling right I mean a little bling goes a long way to making you feel Good, I think. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the, yeah. the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And I bought the Sky High Mascara in the uh, non-waterproof and also in the waterproof version. And I will tell you that I, I went to my local Walmart this past week 
and they their sky high mascara was almost sold out i think they had two hanging there the whole display was empty but two walgreens can't keep them on on the shelf and amazon i had one on back order that was not going to ship until the fifth i got a notification that that is coming so i i really love this mascara i'll tell you that the non-waterproof version that i have been using is really hard to get off is really hard to get off so i have also been testing and trying out, um, and I know that, that many of you know this, I've been trying out the Peaches Skincare line. And Lisa, and I'll link her channel here, had sent me complimentary a, a couple of their products to try. And she's very much into natural skincare, natural beauty, embracing your natural beauty and all that stuff. I mean, I'm into clean skincare. I love to have as clean as possible. Um, but I'm not into natural at all. I wear my makeup. I wear my foundation. I wear my mascara. I that's what I'm doing. And um, so I've been using her cleansing system to wash my face. And I, I love love how it's been leaving my my face. How it I, I've used the the cleanser and I've used the exfoliator and then I use the vinegar toner. Oh my gosh, I love those three. So those three to me are really awesome. I do, however, have to take my mascara off with something else before I do that. And I ran out of my cleansing oil of choice. I'm going to have to go buy that because that, I find, removes my mascara the easiest. I have a couple of other makeup bombs that I've been using, and they work really well, too. But this stuff, the non-waterproof version on my eyes does not budge. It, it does not budge. And that has been a big concern of mine because I teach, I'm out in the public. I don't want you like all of a sudden you're looking in the mirror and you got mascara coming down here and all that. I, it, I was really concerned without testing it to see how it would last. Well, to tell you the truth, it's lasted fabulous. My eyelashes look amazing in it. I am back using my Blink Eyelash Serum just to, to you know, full disclosure. I love the Blink Eyelash Serum. I had stopped using it for about two months and I also had an eye infection. Many of you know that. My eye doctor said the eyelash serum had nothing to do with it, e even my makeup, you know. So I have a little bit of dry eye. I've been trying to treat that. So I'm super careful with that. My eyes are doing really good. I have been using the Blink Serum for about probably two and a half to three weeks. And I've already noticed a difference. <laughs> in my eyelashes. I, I have already noticed a difference. So I'm really happy that I'm back on that. And I know not everyone can do eyelash serums. What I was doing was also the castor oil, which um, I think the castor oil um, is probably not the best thing for my lashes right now. But just as an update, the Sky High Mascara on me has worked phenomenal phenomenal you don't need the waterproof version really i mean maybe in the heat of the summer i might say i'm gonna need the waterproof version because i'm out at the beach or you're sweating and and so maybe then it'll be different but i also bought this week so i talked about my earbuds right i talked about the apple watch i but i also bought a couple of toppers so wick studio one had a sale on they had on their clearance when every now and then they'll have a 30 percent off of their clearance which is already ridiculously reduced so uh 30 percent off i bought a couple of toppers one was a topper that I've had before that I'm going to, I'm not even going to play with it right now because I have one and I have to cut it. The other one is one I've never had before and this is from Ellen Villa and I will probably do a separate, you know, review on that. But just so for those of you who are interested or may not know, this is what the topper looks like. And I am going to, I've already started, I've been trimming this. And I've been trimming it very gently with the scissors to make it shorter. And, um, and the other one I'm not going to trim. I'm going to leave that one the way it is right now. Because the other one is this one. Um, but this is the, um, the John Minot, um Easy Easy Part 8 that I have. And I've trimmed this. So I bought another John Minot Easy Part 8 in the exact same color on Clarence. And I thought that was really cool. I also had that wig sent to me. I think some of you know I did the I did the wig giveaway and oh my gosh on Instagram and that was so so much fun and um, it was just amazing that so many people got excited about a wig giveaway. So I think if for those people that might be interested, I think I'm going to do 
a, a couple of wig giveaways. I get a lot of wigs that I review, some of them that I will not wear again. The thing with a wig reviewer, when you have a company that sends you something complimentary, it may not necessarily be something you would select yourself to wear, but it's always such a good thing if you can share with people that are interested, obviously, what a certain piece looks on you, looks like on you, so they can better judge what the wig would look like on them. And I have always believed that wigs, helper hair, the fake buns you see me wear often when I pulled, even last week, my hair is short, I pulled my hair up, I put the fake bun on, and uh, nobody I went around the office, nobody said, oh, nobody said anything. It was really, it was interesting. So I've often said that hair accessories go right along with beauty and skin care and lifestyle because it's the whole entire picture. It's, it's how we feel about ourselves. And yes, beauty comes from within. I totally get that. Um, but sometimes we can enhance that beauty a bit with makeup if we so choose. And if we don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. Um, but I am on the, I want to. So Anyways, my birthday's coming up on Valentine's Day. I can't believe I'm going to be 67. I can't believe it. <laughs> so this is just a little bit of a mishmash um, of a little bit of everything. But if you are at all interested in Julia and their rings or their jewelry, check out the link I have. I'd appreciate if you used it. And if not, that's not a big deal. And if you are into helper hair and all that, there's a lot of good websites. But I highly recommend Wig Studio One. Um, they have an amazing support staff, and they, they're always there, and they're, le they're legitimate. You can get caught up in a lot of these wig fake websites that are, are uh, basically built to scam the consumers. What they do is they take your pictures or take your videos of a wig review, and they put it on their site and sell it for $10 or $20. It's obviously a scam. I've had them do that to some of mine. I'm like going, really? Wow. Uh, but yeah. So anyways... Um, yeah, that's it. I, I hope uh, whoever wins tonight, I'm super excited for everyone. Um, may the best team win and may it be an awesome game. And I'm so looking forward to the commercials. And thank you all so much. And if I don't see you guys before Valentine's Day, have a wonderful Valentine's Day.